You know what time it is. It's time to get sauced out with another Super Saiyan Jutsu reaction. Back with Bree, and we're doing Breaking Bad. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, last time, Walter had to do the ultimate. He, he, and he did the shh. He did the what? The strangle, the shh. The shh. Well, he didn't say shh, but he definitely. Ah. Yeah. 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 Because uh, he found the plate. He, he wanted he wanted to trust him. And he was like, no, 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 no. And he yeah. was searching. But our man had the piece of plate and he was going to kill him first. He was ready. He was like, look, dude, you let me out of this thing. I'm, yep. I'm going I'm to cut you. Yep. I mean, I would too. Would you? Yeah. Yeah? I would try. You would try? Yeah. I mean, this guy's had me tied up. Yeah, days. yeah, I would get out of there first. Oh, would you? Yeah, I wouldn't immediately try to attack this person. What? Really? Yes, because you're not free. You're still in this house. But he just fainted, so like he just collapsed for a good ten minutes. So you'd like he's at his weakest point right now. Who's who's at the why? Worst? Yeah, yeah, I uh, know. I I don't know who else is in the house. I don't know nothing like that. Yeah, so you overthink. I would I I overthink. I just think. <laughs> I just think. But what I think y'all should do is you guys want to join us on our journey with this show, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you guys want to catch this early and uncut and specifically live. Yeah, we're doing our first live today yeah. watching this, which yeah. is super exciting. So join the Phantom Troop. That's where it's at. If you don't know where that is, the card is up here. Check that out. Um, so yeah, you ready to go? Let's do this. Let's do it. Operation Icebreaker. Icebreaker gum. How are we liking that? We never used that before, did we? Isn't that the name of a breath mint? What? See? Ice breakers, breakers, right? Breath yeah. mint? <laughs> what you think? I'm thinking Operation Breath Mint every time you and me are on a stakeout together, all right? Say hello to Domingo Giardo Molina. Uh-oh. AKA Crazy 8. And normally I'd say someone did the world a favor. Turns out we find two grams of meth in it. We take it to the lab. They come back, they tell us it is the purest they've ever seen. 99.1%. Car Not was the abandoned land, what appears right. to be a uh, cook site. This is the uh, only other thing left behind. We got new players in town. Mm -mm. We got new players in town. No, we don't. No, not with that. Not with that, tooth. <laughs> not with that brush. <laughs> no, not with that toothbrush. How about not? Well, I wonder what's gonna happen when they when they start getting close to your boy. Cause that mask, they're gonna find out who bought the mask, what yeah. company sold it. Emerald here is gonna need a fresh pack. Not Emerald. <laughs> you know who Emerald Lagasse is? Is this Emerald Lagasse? No. Yeah. I want Shania Twain to give me a tuggy. Guess Not a I tuggy. Ain't happening either. Feel good. <laughs> Yo, Charles. The way Becker. she's looking at I'm him. I'm talking Moses days. To get a girl. Yo, uh, why is she looking at him like that? Yeah, because of what he said last time. I'd appreciate it if you'd get out of my ass. Yeah, but that was, yeah. But didn't didn't he have a conversation with her? Man, turn that shit off. My bad. Then uh, then um, uh, what was? Didn't they have a conversation about it at the la like at night, like the last episode? Yeah, she was like, "You gotta tell me what's going on." And he was like, "I'm smoking weed." No, I don't think I was that last episode. Because that was when they were in the what's it called? That was when they were in the uh, in the delivery thing when she was getting the ultrasound or whatever. That's right. So that was the episode before that. Yeah, but then I think he lost his shit at her in in bed. No, wasn't I think it? I think she see so he came back from Jesse's. That's right. He came back from Jesse's. Remember? Because he he came, he didn't come home and she was like he was like oh yeah you know so I was working late and then she was like oh really oh, because had, what's the name had, said you was fired. Yeah, blah, they blah. had epic sex. No, they didn't. They didn't have sex at all. They said, they said, remember she was like, she was like, she was like, he was like, I'm on my way home. She's like, no, wherever you're at, you can stay there. So he stayed at Jesse's house. That's right. And then after as he walked in and she was crying on the bed like, <laughs> and then the episode, he's like, I have something to tell you. And then fucking the episode ended. That's so, right. So, so has he told her? I don't know. Don't say anything. <laughs> I don't know. But continue. Just gotta have about your dad here. That there's a good story, Walt. She was the hostess. She also worked the cash register. I would only go in when I knew she was working. Got so that every day at lunch, 
we would both be doing the New York Times crossword puzzle. So I began saying, oh, excuse me, um, 14 across, seven letter word for what you call it. Uh, I ask what, what you wrote down. Very smooth. <laughs> Sky? <laughs> Mom, uh, are you all right? Oh, I hate you. Not that, bro. Not in front of your son. Not that. Not ask him. Uh. Walt? I have cancer. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> Time out. No. I don't know, bro. He's so bad at delivering information. I have uh, lung cancer. Uh, it's it's bad. What? <laughs> what? My man. Surely, okay. From the son's reaction, he must also know. Maybe. Because he hasn't like freaked out. He hasn't freaked out, but he does look concerned still. Of course, he looks concerned. Even if yeah. you know, you'd still be concerned. Yeah. But my man. Months, maybe. For God's sakes, Walt, we're just sitting out there having a cookout like nothing's going on. Made me promise not to tell anybody. How? How does she I, make this about her? I really, I don't like her. How? I, I, oh, I, I actually, hate her so much. I really do. How not can like you her. make this about you? <laughs> uh, Ask him how long he's known. Ask him. You're a bitch. Yeah, I don't like her at all. Okay, so what's the next step for Walt? Certainly a second opinion, right? Right. We find you the best, the oncology dream team. Yeah. Sums up. Sums up. Some. He he almost feel like he don't want to. Yeah, he almost feels like I don't want to. That's what it looks like. But also at the same time, it's like. You over here just deciding shit for me. Yeah. Well, he, that's what she's done her his whole life, it yeah. seems. Yeah. Ah. Oh, I hate her so much. Didn't mean for him to find out my way. This bitch. I hate her. I hate her. That was his job to tell his son. Yeah. That is not the way. That Ask him. Walk off. And then your son finds out the same time as your in-laws. Yeah, she a bitch. Oh. I don't like her at all. <laughs> I really don't like her. I feel sick. She trash. Make sure you don't go back any further because he's lit. He was literally like, you were like about to hit his tail. Like, That's the dog. Yeah. No, it's actually. <laughs> I want you to know that uh, I'll always take care of you. Say that he shit. doesn't want him to. That shit. I would have punched him in his face. I would have hit him in his face. Really? Hundred percent. Because he, he he's saying that. Because he he's like he's got nothing to no, look after. No, he's saying that enough. as if he's already doing it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, first of all, play like, chill out. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's chill out real quick. And I'm not dead yet. So. You coming from this place of like. You know, it goes with us. You know, I'll, I'll always, I'll always take care of your family. Like, not. I don't think that there's ever a way of like saying the right thing, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was probably literally meaning well. Like, I'm always gonna be here for them. That would have been a better way of saying it. Yeah, but I'll I... always be here for your family, not look after but, them. But he says, "I'll always take care of your family." Yeah. I'll always take care of your family means that. He's not going to take care of his family. He hasn't been taking care of his family. Like, mm. I'll, I'll always take care of you, right? That's like almost saying, like, your parents, like, I'll always be your parent. You know what I'm saying? It's like, mm. well, yeah. So it's like, bro, chill. Yeah. I'm, you might have to run this fade. <laughs> nah. What is this? Yo, check out these uh, fake pop tarts. First of all, why are you bringing people over to your crib? You're lost. He's from, like, Canada or something. Imported. Hey, yo, what happened to you all way, man? Uh, did, like, the ceiling fall down? Or... Oh, yeah, uh... Nah, man, I think the house is just settling. Oh, yeah. 
came up with this whole new recipe. It's more like a formula. It's like way, way more chemically shit. You know, it's, it's just the bomb. So, you know, I don't know. I, I've, been, I've been thinking lately to just lay off of it for a while. Because lately it's been kind of making me paranoid, so. Yo, if you're, uh, if you're not in the sharing, man, just tell us to piss off. It's cool. <laughs> you don't need no soap opera. <laughs> yeah, whatever. No, 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 it's all, it's all good. I'm totally joking with you. <laughs> Kidding. I'm joking with you. <laughs> what? My man Jesse is, he's so nervous. But I'm like, bro, why would you bring these motherfuckers to your house? But that's what the drugs do to them. They cook their brains. They're cooked. He's cooked. He is cooked. No. Captain Cook. Fried. Nah. Let's go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? So paranoid. Yeah. Don't have more. Who it is to biker boys? Not a sword. Not the grenade. Why should it not even be anything like that? Nah. Nah. <laughs> I told you, it's probably not even the same thing. My man's literally so cooked. That peroxide boy, he gonna hit that. <sighs> oh, do you remember that feeling? Oh, as yeah. A kid? Oh, yeah. From here on out, I mean, things are what's, what's that we're putting on the credit card? Mm. Uh, it's just a deposit. What's that? Just a start? To tell me what I already know? Walt, he's not in our HMO, okay? We're not gonna do that. <sighs> well, maybe we can ask your mom. Well, regardless, you're gonna have to tell her about this. Call. I mean, I'm willing to do it, I'll but. Call. I... Uh, I just, I just wanna, I wanna. I don't <sighs> even know what I was thinking about money. Benching activated. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where he's storing this at. Is it at his house? Somebody that is it. a hideous color. Somebody gonna see it. That's a green screen. <laughs> so paranoid. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I haven't killed nobody, so I don't know. Nah. He mad. He mad. Well, I know <laughs> I the Bluetooth earpieces? Do you remember those? I never had one. Oh my God. Did you have one? <laughs> what? I don't understand where they're forcing you to choose between the piccolo and the oboe. You show so much promise with both. You have real talent and I'm not just saying that. Thanks. What about Mr. Pemberton? Is he giving you enough individual attention? Mr. Pemberton. Let's say so. Hey, Dad. Mm. Hey, my leg. Where does it go wrong? Where does it go wrong? Like, oh. The family is like well off, educated. You know, where does it go wrong? Uh, I mean, it, that could be the start. Right? Well, often educated. Where it's like they want their kid to do a particular thing, right. and whatever. He doesn't want to do it, so that kid starts rebellious. to rebel. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I've seen that quite a few times. Yeah, I have too. Kid, growing up in Vegas. But I'm just like, yo. Embarrassing, though. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, thanks. What, well, Jesus? You would hope that that would just like sober, like shake him up enough to go, I'm moving home and cleaning up. You know? Maybe. Like he at just, what point does it, out. does it like scare you? Right. Time's, uh, time's dinner. In about an hour. What time's dinner? <laughs> you know, I could uh, wash those clothes if you'd like. They look a little lived in. 
Uh, a little lived in. Well, that's cool. Not taking the bus? Oh. All right, well, listen. Um, give me maybe another 20 minutes and we'll get out of here. All right. You know, I, I just think that uh, things have a way of working themselves out. What is that supposed to mean? Elaborate. Because uh, he said to him earlier, you're acting like nothing's wrong. Mm -hmm. Now he's finally answering him. Well, I don't know, but that's a very vague way of answering him. Yeah. Why do you feel that way? Yeah, man, you, uh, you play the flute? It's a piccolo, actually. Dude, play some, uh, play some Jethro Tull. Nah, bro. We're, uh, we're good. Yeah, fine, man. Wow. It's good. It's, it's great. Leave the door open. Yep. I don't trust you in here, boy. Like, oh, we can't let that scumbag whoop the mind of our favorite son. <laughs> I'm the favorite? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Practically all they ever talk about. Perspective. Da 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 da. I wonder what they talk about, though. Where to go wrong, or probably, or or maybe he was really promising. Maybe he had I, a ton I, of potential. Yeah, I have no just... doubt. And he hung around the wrong person, tried meth for the first time, and it was all over. Yeah. Every family I feel has one of these types of chests, where you've got memories in. Do you have that? No. You don't. No chests. No chests to be found. <laughs> I reckon we've got about ten. Eh? See, I think that's the thing where it's like you had a, a person that had all this potential and they were just kind of like, where did I go wrong with him? Where did we go wrong? Not mm. why Mr. White loves chemistry. He's like, you didn't even try. You're not even trying. Jesse. What the hell are you doing here? Yo, I waited till the ball buster left. I mean, no offense. Not the ball buster. A wire? You want a wire? I got a wire. Speak into the mic, bitch. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you? Oh, we call uh, debrief. Maybe we could. Not debrief. 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 <laughs> wow, that's that's what you think we need. Debrief. Your share. I'm selling that batch. That's why I'm here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey. I didn't smoke at all. <laughs> Not in the pool. Oh yeah, yours is paper. Yeah. Does pa water ruin it? I mean, it can. I mean, it gets wet and crinkles and shit. We gotta. <laughs> yeah, you man, I get this paper out of here, Blair. <laughs> it is curable. I prefer the word treatable. But the treatments we have at our disposal can be very effective. Um, what, what about the side effects? It varies from patient to patient. Typically, there's hair loss, mm -hmm. which begins a couple of weeks after the start of chemotherapy. You may find yourself unusually fatigued, not much energy. Yeah, I would not I would imagine that scenario being just super stressful. I'm trying to think of, like, what's the right course of action and... Are we prolonging or are we curing? Are we... Am I going to leave the rest <laughs> uncomfortable? At the joint, like, oh, what's going on? I'm going to put this in my pocket. <laughs> so this is the least of your worry. What do you know about it? Nothing. Right here, and had the same conversation over and over again. <laughs> you going to be crazy if it ain't even his? Wouldn't it be crazy if it's not even his? Because his little brother. Look us in the eye and, and he takes it for him. And you play on our emotions, and you tell us anything. We need you to leave. That'd be so hard as a parent. Mm. Thanks for not telling on me. Told you. Tall, I fucking knew that one, boy. I knew that one. Yeah. I knew that shit. That's not even his, boy. 
that. Would you do that for your brother? Um, if you were already like Jesse, and you saw your brother up and coming, like gifted, probably. I don't think I would. I think I would. I don't think I would because I would want him to stop before he got to my stage. Right, but that's that's not that's not how you do it. You don't rat him out and then make him rebel more. Right? Mm-hmm. This is the conversation that he needs to have now with him. He's like, look, man, like, I didn't put you on blast. I didn't throw you under the bus, but I'm going to need you to dial it back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I did you a solid. You know what I mean? Like, you, you have to build that trust where it's like, I'm going to take one for you, mm-hmm. but I, I need you to tighten up. You know, like that, you don't, you wouldn't want to throw your, your younger sibling under the bus. Cause now he looks up to you in particular, in a particular way, whether Jesse knows it or not, right. He acknowledges it or not. Your younger sibling is going to look up to the older sibling. Mm. You're the youngest, right? Mm -hmm. Did you ever look up to your sister? Mm. Right. Like, so it's one of those things where you're not always going to agree. Right. And sometimes you're going to not agree the majority of the time. But then, the, for whatever reason, they still look up to the older sibling. Mm. So you don't want to break that that trust. Mm. There's a, a particular trust with siblings where it's like, I'm not going to just throw you on a bus, you know? But I do need you to tighten up because I'm not going to be taking no heat from you, you know? You know, this is actually very helpful. <laughs> Bitch, shut up. <laughs> Help these nuts. How about the heads? <laughs> Did you hear me? No. <laughs> Can I oh. call them and, and tell them they'll start next week? Well, there's financing. There's uh, installment plans. I, I, I could always go back to work. Well, there's always a way. I, I just don't want emotions ruling us. Maybe treatment isn't the way to go. Then why don't you just fucking die already? <sighs> Sheesh. Just give up and die. Sheesh. Yeah, this that shit deep. Cause like he, the kid, the son is pissed off because one, how he found out, right? Which was trash, mom's fault for sure. Yeah. Two, he's like, bro, like you ain't even talked to me about this at all since like we haven't had no like, hey, how you doing? Yeah. Nothing. Which is why like you just act like everything's hunky dory. Like, what you mean? So you can understand him. He's just like, well, you you obviously acting like ain't nothing wrong. So are you trying to fight this or not? Or are you just gonna die? If you're right. gonna die, die now. Yeah, yeah. Why prolong it? Yeah, here. I yeah. As a kid, you like. <sighs> yeah, you wouldn't know how to handle it. No way. You wouldn't know how to handle it, but then like seeing that your your parents aren't even on the same, same page. page doesn't make it any better. I can get where Skylar's coming from in the sense of I want you to live and I want to do anything in my means to yeah. make that possible. Yeah. But it's not your decision. It's not it's not even it's not only her decision. Correct. And I think that's the thing where it's like, yeah, you guys are married, you have a kid, and she's like, look, like I I, I don't want you to die. Obviously. That's the obvious. But it's like, okay. The logic though is like we need to look at both sides of this. Mm. We go through this. That's ninety. That's ninety racks, and it don't work. You don't work right now. And you got another person. On and you got another baby on the way. So it's like, what do you like? Where? Where is this? What are we doing right now? For yeah. real, right? And I think that's the thing that's that's super difficult to digest for her. But I think Walter is just very bad at communicating. Full stop. Oh, for sure. And I think whatever their dynamic is, if it never, if it didn't start out like this. It's definitely got to the point where she overpowers him in their relationship, so he just doesn't want to talk. Yeah. Mm. You have one blood on the hands. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I like He's like, I'm gonna fuck you up. Uh, yeah, dude, I'm not worried. I got the best <laughs> Ken wins. What you about to do? Tires. Key. Punch it. Break the windscreen. <laughs> First of all, you're not even in a parking spot, playboy. <laughs> You driving a body at gas deck. Oh, he going straight to him. I know he's not. No, you about to do some you about to do some chemistry. You have to throw it in his shit and when he starts it up, the belt's gonna snap. What you about to do? Oh, not the short circuit. Nah. Nah. 
No. No. I win. <laughs> Call the fire people! <laughs> You're gonna stay there while there's petrol pump? <laughs> badass. What a badass. Is he though? Like... I love that. You love what? The sneak? Yeah. What, bruh? Look, it's it's funny, but that's some that's some that's some coward shit. Huh. He's like, whatever. What? I like that. He didn't do anything to him. No. He took his parking spot. And then annoyed him in in, in the store. So you think the equivalent to somebody taking a parking he's spot? Fed up. I see. And a, for sure, but yeah. I'm just I'm just again, I'm just like I feel like that's the pinnacle of him taking control of his life now. It's like going to be the pivot of him. Them doing what? Of him going, all right, I'm going to cook this meth now. <laughs> I'm going to go into full business. I'm going to stand up to my wife. Okay. I feel like that's like the, the turn. You think it is? Yeah. I mean, look. I don't know. I don't I. Maybe it might be. I just think in my head, like it's it's the it's the reaction. He took your parking spot. Yeah. He took your parking spot. He How much do you get pissed off when people do that? So you decide to blow up his car. Yeah. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Those are not equivalent by any stretch of the imagination. Cussing him out, you're an asshole, or shut the fuck up. I can understand. Blowing up his car? Yeah, that's a little extreme. <laughs> it's a little extreme. No? Of course you don't. You know who slashes tires in relationships? Women. You've never heard of a guy's, I'm gonna cut that bitch tires, uh, cuz. That's a lie, cuz my tires were slashed. By who? My ex's friends. That's yeah, a bitch ass nigga. That's, that's what that is. Yep. So, but again. Women. women. Well, I didn't do it. That's what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? What? What? <laughs> I'm just saying the majority of the majority of the time, right? If my if my dude that emotional, and he's slashing tires, then he bitch ass nigga. That's all I'm saying. Okay. But I I don't I don't know how this works out because that the wife she's just she's too overbearing. I don't like it. But I think I'm looking at it from perspective of me, right? Like, we still don't know how they how they started, and then where did it go wrong with them to the point where she started? Or to has take he over? always been like that with her? Like, did he allow that to happen, or did something go wrong and then she started earning more money? Or like, well, she wasn't. She's not working now. She's not right. But I mean, okay. So let's just say hypothetically, right? Let's just say they, because like the flashback that he was with that other chick. He, he, had, was on, he was on game for sure. Yeah, my man had some C out, a little bit of sauce to him. Mm. Confidence was there. I was like, okay, this is different. Mm -hmm. And then we see him now, and he's nothing like that. So I'm like, all right, what actually was the moment? Was it before he met her? Was it after they were together? Was it after they had the first kid? What point did that go away to where she became the dominant figure in the relationship? Mm. You know, but I don't know. Other than that, let us hear your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And if you guys want to catch it, catch it uncut, unedited, make sure you guys check it out on the Phantom Shoop or over on Patreon. Either one tiers the same. Uh, and again, if you guys watch it live, appreciate you guys. Uh, and we'll catch you guys next week. See you next week. Okay, later. Bye.